Hello, folks, it's me, Bugsy. It's me and Sakamaru. We didn't have a lot of time. <coughs> we didn't actually... We didn't actually do... We didn't actually get to do... You know, any, we didn't actually get to look at all these Valentine's Day specials. Uh, mostly because... We were fucking... Let's just say we were fucking busy with our own... With our, with our ladies, so we just didn't have a lot of time. I mean, we did those two videos, sure. But we didn't have enough time to actually look at something like this and just do our thing. So, but if the Sonic stream can basically put off their... Put off what they were doing until today, so can we. So, yeah, let's get this let's get this little ship fest started, bro. Alright, let's go. To the ships, lads. When I say to guys guys, when I say to the ship when I say to the ships, lads, remember I said ship ship ship. I'm just making sure everybody freaking hears you right. Because a lot of people, whenever I say ship sometimes, some people hear shit. I don't know why. I like I'm actually saying shit. It's like the one time I don't say shit. You think we just ship things together because it's a lot less dangerous when we actually tried to put two people together? Dude, we almost destroyed the world because of that shit. Remember that. <laughs> Bugsy, I cannot remember that. Ooh, fucking wings are itchy. Oh, wing itch, I know that feeling. Jesus. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm the camera, I shouldn't be scratching your wings. You know how, you know how freaking, you know what, it, you know what that really means, right? When someone's scratching your wings. Yeah, I know, it's a very intimate thing, but, ugh, stocking ain't here, so I can't. Exerted do it. Mm. It just I can't exert do it right now. So mm. get a back scratcher. One of those wing scratchers. Oh, don't you have one in your closet? Yeah. Uh but uh this is say the wing scratcher kind of vibrates. Just say Oh dang, Bucky like, didn't know you uh you like to Vibrate the old, vibrate your old, uh, aviator muscles. Shut up, Antakumar. It's, it's not what you think it is. It's Bugsy, we're sensitive in our wings. It's okay if you get off on that. It's, like, it's not that embarrassing. It's for my sweet vanilla, of course. You see, Cream, it's going to be Valentine's Day tomorrow. Uh, I wanted to say in this universe, uh, Vanilla is like trans, transgendered. Yes, I can't. Uh, I'm just saying. I'm. I know Victor. Do, Victor don't know. The Victor questions. don't know. I said Victor don't know. <laughs> Victor, if you're watching this video, I'm not making a joke on you. Because. Eh. I know what you like, but I ain't gonna make a joke on you. That's only say it for Shane. I'll explain it to you. Just a little song. It's a day where you give someone who's really special to you a... You know, Shane's gonna get tired of the spider, the spider jokes you keep making. Okay. Hey, until he says stop, I ain't stopping. First, chocolates, or that $500 bag they've been wanting since last July. talk about that ever but this cream in this timeline is just, just so freaking cute do you want to pinch her cheeks give her a little give her some hot chocolate give her a little hot chocolate 
Your your dad your dad senses were kicking in, weren't they? Oh, every day. Well, not every day, but they kick thing. in every now and again. Just isn't. No, if you excuse me, I'm going to make your mother very happy. Oh God, they're just gonna give her. They're just gonna give her the presents and the crocodile cock. That's just. Okay, but how does that work if she's, if she's, we, if we know, I don't know, Shem said but that probably changed that, so she, is, that's why she isn't really Shem, probably, probably Vector knows, man. How do you think he knows? Dude, he probably knows, he probably knows, he probably gets, he probably enjoys it, you know what I'm saying. you need somebody special, somebody you want to make Kids are always so boring. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they are. Uh, you know what? Later, I'm gonna go call Skips. Yeah, I wish I could go call my kid, Bugsy. I wish I could. Oh, don't worry. Whoever the kid is. Probably misses you. Shipping chart. Oh God, she made a shipping chart. Do I even know that guy? It's adorable. Hey man, please, this is awfully nice of you. Wait a minute, did I just see Interjack? How would a date with 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 Blaze and Interjack would even go? Bugsy, don't even imagine it because I'm imagining it and I all I see is just people's souls getting sucked out and some very violent sex getting getting going on with fire. And here's Sticks making an obligatory freaking cameo. God damn. I like how they just like forget that a crazy badger woman just came out of nowhere and just like Totally broke Blaze's window and Blaze didn't do shit about it. <laughs> I think it's like it's like a little it's like a little like studio it's like a little it's like a little TV show. They're just like fuck, just get, sticks wasn't supposed to be doing this here, so we gotta just cover it up. We gotta cover it up to the next scene. Pretend like that never happened. the idea of Sonic or Blaze or any of the other characters having like houses like this, but eh, you know, the whole idea kind of grew on me. Okay, why is... Why, oh, God. Poor... 
Oh god, they got cream reading high school of the dead. Oh no. There are some things she'll probably look at that comic that she is probably going to ask her mom about. Zombies ass and titties. And almost a sort of sex scene. I don't think that was in the manga. That was only in the... That was only kind of in the... That was only kind of in the anime, I believe. Pretty sure there was a sort of sex scene in there. It's been, for, it's been forever since I read High School of the Dead's uh, manga, so I don't know. Probably had to, I probably had to go read it again. I guess he just, how uh, they, he has the brush and everything just fades out, like, they could have played some fake horror music just to go with it. Damn. I mean, if I was in the cat, I was in the cat chicks like a certain somebody that's sitting right near me. She'd be kind of hot. I hate you, on Sakamaro. I just, I sometimes I just want to kick you. Oh, you're in your ball form. Oh God, I'm so proud of Tails. I'm so proud of Tails. I'm gonna be tricking the wine. Wait, this isn't a date. Trying to wind him down. Yeah, I'm kind of oh, yeah, he's with Honey the Cat, isn't he, in this continuity? Yep. Oh, wait, we didn't even get the breadstick yet. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I like how Kaji I like how kind of gave Knuckles the stare, like. Like, maybe it was. Like, only if that was probably unintentional. It just felt like that. It's so funny. Oh shit! <laughs> I don't even get how did they get freaking Professor Pickle out of his out of his freaking house or out of, out of the freaking out of his freaking study without him talking about fucking cucumbers and cucumber slice sandwiches at nauseum. I'm going to boycott this establishment for their reasons. I am sorry, madam, but this is an issue that cannot be ignored. Oh, for the love of... Hold on, no, sir. I'm thinking... You, you know what? You know what? Guys, I'm, I'm here too, and... God dang, Professor Cucumber, he... You guys understand I used to actually go to one of his classes? The freaking lectures he'd have. Trust me, we'd all be bored before we could actually write anything down. It's, it's horrible. <sighs> oh, chap, I didn't know you were. I didn't know you were. I didn't know you were here today. Eh, well, I'm just kind of. I'm just kind of grabbing my things, working on pre recording some of my own videos. Oh, cool. Ah, yes, yes. I'll get out of your way. I'll get out of you guys' this way. I got some. Uh, I got some videos to pre-record in my office. Hey, but holler if you need me. We can. We can talk about. We can talk about that. We can talk about some stuff. Yo, me, you, and some more. All right, old chap. We'll talk to you later. See. See ya. See you later. See you later, old. See you later, lad. <sighs> See you later, lads. See you later, lads, okay? <laughs> what, your tongue was tied? Yeah. yeah. It was tied a little bit. Yeah. Well, when you talk all day, you kind of you kind of get that. That tongue tightness. Well, I'll see you, I'll see you lads later. What? God dang, Sonic, why do you have me such a hornball? Please don't go. You're still one more person. 
He just wants... You know, you know, I think that's why they're doing the whole Sonic It's a Wonderful World. Because, you know, Sonic never gets any... Sonic never gets any action in this freaking continuity. He's always getting beat up by chicks. Like he's the head talk version of Johnny Bravo. What about the womb? Oh, you know how it is. I have nothing else to do today. Oh, see, dear. To be honest, all of this is so silly. I'm sorry about that, Gingerbus. Hey, I don't know about you, but I'm having a great time. Me too, I I love this. I had a good time. Thanks for making this terrible day bearable. <laughs> it's what I do. Well, I have work tomorrow, so I gotta go. I'll see you later. See you later. Oh yeah, Silver still works at Pizza Hut where Vector basically puts him in the goddamn microwave. Well, actually it's the is it the microwave or the oven? It's the oven, I think. Oh, you had the perfect chance and you missed it. What do you mean? I think I like these little shorts. Me too. God, you're precious. God dang, Cream. This is. You're just precious. Seriously. Oh, there's gonna be. They'll date in the future, Creamy. You just gotta wait. Okay, Bugsy, I saw you looking at Blaze's cat ass. <laughs> I was looking at Blaze's cat ass, you idiot. I'm scratching my back with my tail. Oh. Oh, sorry. As long as y'all don't do babysit cream. As long as you guys don't play babysit cream, you know what I mean? Uh, I love that. I like this little short. It was cute. Yeah, it really was. It, it really was, man. But you know what? You know what would be even cool. You know what would have been cooler. What? If well, hmm. Yeah, I had it. I lost it. Yeah, I get like that too. Let's look at the timeline layout since we got a little bit more time. Gaming doesn't have to be like this. Sure. You need a machine that can keep up with you. The new Omen X. Don't the new Omen the X. Omen X. It will use your penis and it will work. This is Shadow Side 59, and I'm here to map out the timelines and story order of my series in order. If you'd like to know plot details, please click the link over here or in the video description. No, I don't I need to. I guess in write or do anything with Sonic 06, I just based a lot of my series around Sonic 06 by Sonic Inceptive and Sonic and Missing. I might yeah, set the whole Sonic 06 one day just to fit it better with my story, but that's another story for me. Back on track, because hmm. Silver and Blaze covered back in time, just created an ultimate timeline which created Sonic 06. And because of Solaris and Sonic and Elise blowing back the flame, it created another time. Another story arc that I created, <laughs> Sonic Turn this in. Here's where it gets a little tricky, but I'll try to explain the thing. You know, you know, Sonic reminiscent to us, you know, back you know, back when we were watching it, it just started out 
as kind of an obligatory like Sonic special thing. But then you know, Shadow Seven Five Nine, he was like, "No, nah, we ain't doing it just like that. We're gonna, I'm gonna go to, we're gonna have, I'm gonna bring this, I'm gonna bring it out a little bit more gusto than that." I'm like, and then we were like, "Shit." Oh god, Sonic 06 is actually good and tolerable in this sense. You know I am. I got people who always say like, oh, Bugsy, when you guys do like multiverse stories, it gets kind of confusing. I'm like, okay, I'll tell you this, we're the prime dimension. If you see a, if you see a video from us, and we don't state if, you know, we're not stating, you know, we're the prime dimension, and you don't hear any any versions of me or on someone I've stated, you are really technically listening to the prime me and I took murder. Although the t although the team H versions of us have been covering for us sometimes when we're off when we're off doing our little adventures. It does exist because it's its own timeline. It didn't need anything in order to be created by another timeline like Sonic or Six or so the Sonic Inceptive timeline still exists because it's its own thing. Sonic 06 has been affected and it's a completely different timeline and that's the ratings and the missions. Hmm. And that's why Mephilus and Silver still come into existence. So that's pretty much how it boils down to. Yep. Sonic Inceptive, then Sonic 06, and then Sonic and Missing. Some of you are probably wondering where does Sonic One for the World with Life and Death come into play? And that takes place after Sonic Reminiscent. It's not a new timeline or anything, it's just a continuation of the story, and there's not going to be too much time travel talk from the Also, the Blaze movie, Blaze Contingency. Blaze Contingency. Oh, that's... Oh, uh, come on, Chaz, if I now give us something about this movie. It looks cool. Sounds cool. I want to say that Sonic Chronicles, The Dark Brotherhood, is going to be a part of my story, right? Which was already shown in Sonic Reminiscence and Shadow Town. Because Sonic Chronicles, who was created by Sega and Bioware, was cancelled due to multiple reasons, I'm not acknowledging the game. However, I am reintroducing characters and I rewrote a bunch of their stories based Sweet. on the Sonic Chronicle game and pretty much making it into my own thing. You know, you know, Shadow Seven Five Nine, you could do something cooler. You know, the Sonic Chronicles kind of ended with Robotnik taking over, so I'm just saying, you know, wink, wink. You could probably put it in your next storyline if you got it, if you got a chance. Yeah, don't listen to, don't listen to us. We're just kind of fans of your work. So, I'm sorry if some people were confused by Sonic Reminiscence and Shadow Zone by Lord X's complete different personality, but that's how it is right now. I'm mean, just reading the different characters and the writing of the thing that I'm saying. But, like I said, he's going to stop it. Let's know what I want to say on Sonic Reminiscence by Lord X is that Hmm. Okay, let me explain what the Sonic Inceptive one is. It's just basically if Sonic didn't beat Solar didn't beat Solaris. I mean didn't beat Nephilus and he basically died. Which I saw that shit and it was the most saddest thing ever because he's like Tails, I've never seen you grow up to be a man. I'm like, oh shit. And then I just started to think, okay, what if 
you know, I just started to think, like, little instances, like, what is this happening in my storyline in Sonic Freedom Fighters? Like, the hand tap would probably go fucking nuts, wouldn't he? <laughs> well, it'd probably be more like... S Sonic. S no. 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 And then he he basically transformed in the in the dark Bugsy the Hedgehog. Uh, Wait a minute. So mm -hmm. so Sonic and Bugsy the Hedgehog have dark transformations. <laughs> oh, we said that for the t for the scenario. They don't have dark forms yet. Just. That is way too far in to the actual story, so don't talk about it. Dix falls into the same category as Sonic Chronicles, except you know Boom isn't cancelled, but I don't acknowledge Boom as canon. I put Sticks into my story because um, I genuinely like the character, but I have the women her here and there to be my own style, and also she is based on Sonic Boom by her paranoia and <laughs> Cool. Uh, expect more videos from her in the future by Fred Funny and the dramatic stuff. I really hope that this video answers a lot of your questions out there. If you so, questions okay, okay. Ask, I really hope that's kind of cool. Know. That's kind of cool, though. I really like Shadow's like ending because it was really kind. It was really kind of awesome, and it's the. And I feel like it's a better closer for Shadow's story. Than the actual closer for his story. Yeah, he was just works for gun, and even and you know even still like even in the O six timeline they turn on him. They turn on him in like the deep future and they just like go fuck it. We're gonna just we turned on you, man. We turned on you. Um, why well, does Rose look like she's about to? She about to, she about to kill you and just laugh at you why she does it. It's kind of creepy, Mr. Fat Stoker. <sighs> got anything else we need to add, bro? Yeah, I got nothing. I got nothing. How are you? No, I think we're about it. I think that's about it. Well, see you guys later. This was a reaction video. We haven't done a direct reaction video in such a very long time. Because we just kind of want to space it out a little bit. You know, we don't want to do too much or do too little. We just want to kind of hit it in the right, right amount. And we're just going to... We're going to leave the links to the videos you just saw in the links below. I'm Bugsy. And... Uh, and I'm here to say stay chaotic, but don't let the chaos of the world, don't let the chaos of the world make you into an idiot. Let, let all, let everybody else be the idiots. You just enjoy your life and chill. That's what you gotta do. Enjoy your life, do what you, do what you do, work what you, you know, work your job, do whatever, but just chill. Don't, don't freaking get roused by whatever, don't get roused by the various rabble of the world. You know what I mean? God, I've been hanging out with I've been hanging out with old chap for too long. I just feel it. I'm I said rabble and that's most that's mostly a that's mostly his word. Well anyways I'll see you guys later. And oh yeah Um I don't know if I'm doing it this Friday but stay tuned for the Nightmare Invasion arc in the multiverse the Multiversal Wrestling Federation, or M, or M, or or M W F. See you guys later. I can't really say what the Nightmare Invasion arc actually is. It's just what I have planned is going to be kind of fuck, gonna be kind of fucking crazy. But it's going to be a crazy that you guys like. See you guys later.